This walkthrough will describe geolocation through cell ID. We will explain geolocation through a cell ID using the modem WP7607, which is a 4G, 3G, 2G module. Any cellular module can be used. For some applications, the ability to know the location of the unit without powering up a GPS is useful. Using this method, an application can perform a geolocation operation through the use of a pure cell ID. The application needs to decode the response of the AT command AT plus K cell equals zero. The command response is used to generate a JSON output file. The JSON file is sent to the API server, which will provide an estimated position with the latitude, longitude, and accuracy data. The recovery server used is Google, but there is also a free server called OpenCell ID which is an open database of cell towers that can be used. All the devices using the mobile network are aware of the surrounding cell information being broadcast. Within this broadcast information from the networks, there are elements which can be used to locate the unit's geographical position. This information includes the Public Land Mobile Network, PLMN, which is composed of the MCC and the MNC. MCC stands for Mobile Country Code, and has three digits. This number is allocated by 3GPP. MNC stands for Mobile Network Code and is unique for each network. Each network code can be two or three digits. Then there is the Location Area Code, LAC, which is a unique number indicating the current location area. A location area is a set of base stations that are grouped together. These are typically used by 2G and 3G networks. The next is the routing area code, RAC, which identifies a routing area within a location area. The tracking area code identifies the tracking area within a particular network. This is typically used by 4G networks. Finally, the cell ID is a unique number used to identify each base transceiver station, BTS, or a sector of a BTS within a location area code. The AT command that will be used to geolocate is AT plus K cell equals zero. The command has three answers depending on the network on which you are registered. If you are registered on a 2G network, the parameters needed for the location are the PLNM along with the LAC, the GSM CLI, and the RSSI. If you are connected on a 3G network, the parameters for geolocation are the PLMN, the LAC, the UMTS cell ID, and the scrambling code. For LTE, the parameters that you need are the PLMN, the LTE cell ID, the physical cell ID, and the tracking area code. Let's start the example where the terminal is connected to the WP7607. Now type AT plus CREG question mark, followed by AT plus CGREG question mark. Both return OK. This indicates that the modem is attached to both circuit and packet. Type AT plus COPS question mark. You will be registered to the UMTS network. Type AT plus K cell equals zero, which returns five cell, which is the surrounding cell for the modem. Let's see another example. Take the first cell and put the information in OpenCell ID. OpenCell ID is a free database. You can register and you will receive a token ID. Use your email and token ID to access via the web interface. The things that are needed are as follows. First, the PLMN information. In this case, the mobile country code is 222 and mobile network code is 10. After this, information in hexadecimal format is needed for the LAC, cell ID and scramble code. Since information for LAC and cell ID is in hexadecimal format, it has to be converted. The conversion can be done using an Excel sheet to track all the relevant values. First, let's insert the values for MCC and MNC. Now go to the Request drop-down and select one cell UMTS. Add the value to MCC and MNC in the code as shown. Now copy the value for the location area code. Add the LAC value to the code window. Now copy the cell ID value from the sheet and add it as well. Then copy the scramble code value and add it. Now click on Submit. You will get an approximate position as you can see on the map. 
This is a simple, manual process example using one cell to retrieve approximate location. But it is possible for the running application to decode the information from all five cells and build a message to be sent to the server API to get a more accurate position. This is the end of the walkthrough, and now you know how to geolocate through cell ID. For questions about this process, contact your local FAE.